Now, if anybody can cope with pressure, it's the Hibernian manager, Alan Stubbs. He played in the Scottish Cup final for Celtic, an old firm game back in 1990 game. Afterwards, he was given a routine drug test. Now, he passed that dope test, but in the end, the results gave him some shocking and life-changing news. I was the luckiest person ever to have been picked that day because I don't know in hindsight, but if I wouldn't have got picked that day, I may not have even been here today. One day we will have a cure. I'm sure that we're making fantastic strides into, into lots of different cancers. I hope one day there's, there's a cure for, for everyone. But unfortunately, as I speak now, that cure hasn't come quick enough for a, for a lot of people. Does it affect the way you approach your life and the way that you cope with it, the pressures of your job? Yeah, definitely. I still hate losing, but it doesn't have the same effect on me. You know, I, I get on with it very quickly. Uh, I move on. I feel as if I've got a much better outlook on life now. You know, football should never be number one. Um, and, and unfortunately for me, you know, it, it took me being diagnosed with cancer to, to have realised that. Now we're at the end of your first two years as a manager. Which of the managers that you work for are you most like? I've played under and worked under some, some, some fantastic managers. You know, for me, Martin O'Neill was a great inspiration. David Moyes was great with me and he gave me my first coaching role. Walter Smith O'Neill was another one. He gave me the opportunity to fulfil a dream and that was to play for my boyhood team and he will always be up there because of that opportunity he gave me. Tell us about this relationship between you and the Rangers manager. <laughs> It's very good. <laughs> it doesn't seem that way because you've had a bit of a ding-dong since the beginning no, of the season. I think if me and Mark were sitting here together now, you know, we're, we're, the, we're the manager of two big clubs. I think if anybody thinks that you're going to be best of pals, then I'm afraid it's not like that in football. We have a, we have a very professional relationship. You know, we're very respectful and courteous to each other. Um, but Mark wants to win and I want to win. When we've played them, especially in the league, we're sitting at two apiece and on our day we know we're capable of getting results. As a kid, you'd always dreamt of winning the FA Cup, you know, and I'm sure, you know, now in Scotland, you know, all my players will have dreamt of this day. It's the same with me, the Scottish Cup, it's special. Looking at the fans, I don't know whether there's a 50-50 split, but I know there's a lot of fans who would, if they had a choice, would like to see us win the Scottish Cup over promotion this season. But Saturday we have an opportunity to, to give the ones who are, who are there and the ones who are alive now a chance to put themselves in the history books. It's as simple as that. You're never going to end the wait unless you're in a final. Now if you win this Scottish Cup, who will you thank most of all for it? I had a, an unbelievable letter sent to me uh, last week from from a, from a lady about, uh, she went into hospital and she, and her son, you know, she gave birth and her, and her, and her son died and it, it, it virtually brought me nearly to tears reading it. It was, it was remarkable. And I went to see uh, a young lad last week who's, who's terminally ill and he's a, a huge hips fan. And you look at these, two different stories and for me if I win the Scottish Cup then my medal will be getting donated to one of, to one of them too to raise money that would be far more rewarding than, than looking at a medal